This video is going to demonstrate how to create this object here. The title of the object is Tube Spacer. And just with the um, design itself, it can be a little bit challenging. I don't think it's hard as far as uh, the tools. I just think some people get a little mixed up with this because it's, uh, I don't know, kind of um, an interesting object. Let's go ahead and show you how to create this here. Uh, I'm going to work from actually the midpoints. I'm going to put my origin um, on the center line of this tube here. And then I'm going, and you'll see how I work it. But essentially, I'm working right down the middle of this. I'm going to start on this side. And I'm going to start on the bottom first. So the bottom uh, inside diameter of the tube is 1.25. And then there is an outside diameter. So that's 1.25 inches, and the outside is 2.5. That number comes from right here. Whoop, it comes from right here. All right, the thickness or third dimension of this is 2.75 inches. So let's go ahead and extrude this right now. And I'm going to extrude in both directions since I'm working from the middle out. And I could do the math of 2.75, but I could just do it divided by 2 and get the same result without doing the math. I'll let the computer do the math. And there we go. So there's my bottom tube. Now I need to do the top tube and then find a way to connect all this stuff, which, uh, you know, that connection, that extrusion part can be a shade challenging. Maybe just take it one side at a time. That'll be fine. All right, I'm going to be working from this plane now, and I'm going to do a very similar thing up top here. So the dimensions of this are one on the inside and two on the outside. I'm going to want to make sure that is vertical over this guy. All right, and that actually is going to go down. I'll do that in the next step. Okay, let's extrude that guy. Same thing, both sides I'm going to extrude. And that is three inches total, so that's really easy math, one and a half on each side. Okay. So there I go, I have both of the tubes. Now I need to connect these guys. Uh, a lot of different ways to do this, like anything, but I'm just going to start on one side and work my way. Okay. Let's see. I'll try to approach this. Well, I'm going to do another. I'm going to use this angle again. And what I'm going to do is project everything here. Let's see. It's going to go straight up there. Tangents are my friend here. Let's make sure both of these have them. Coincident. I don't know if that doesn't work, I can do horizontals there. Make sure that should be vertical. All right. Looks good. Let's extrude that. And that's going to go both ways, but not all the way. Uh, let's see. I actually need to go to the thickness of this. And what was the thickness of that? That's two inches. So an inch on either side should take me where I want to go. Okay. I didn't do everything, but I'm going to come back on this guy. And I'll be able to get that done. Do the same thing again, project tool, include all that stuff. Hopefully that circle is in there. And I already have my distance, so I'm going to go both sides, but it's going to be a two object. 
distance to object on this side. And there we go. And there is my object. Looks just like that. So there is the tube spacer. Not as difficult as it looks. Uh, I just got to take a little time, approach it step by step, and you're good to go.